So hi everyone, it's Tina on Phenomenal Beauty. So if you've just come from my little makeup course vlog, thanks again for joining me to see what's in my kit or what has changed since I did that last post on my makeup kit. Well, if you're just joining me now, thank you. And what I'm gonna be doing is actually showing you what is in my little uh, trolley makeup case. What I'm gonna show you is not what I would take every time. It's really just everything that I have uh, so far pulled together for my makeup kit uh, and it's not everything like it's not all of my hair products or hair tools and that but it's predominantly my makeup uh, but I'll go through sort of how I pack it sort of why uh, and all of that the, the trolley bag I have shown before I've just slightly unzipped it pretty much you have your outer pockets here and then what you would do is you'd zip down and well, what I do is I actually zip down but I don't pull this outer flap all the way down I just sort of leave it like that because I've actually swapped up how I have my bags stacked so typically I would have my brush roll which I'll show you shortly I might have a different case or something sitting up here at the moment I just have this little thing with my cotton pads and q-tips um, just two different types in there and then I have this which I will show you in a moment and this has got all my sort of skincare and face prep, but I will show you that separately. But hopefully if the light allows you to see it, it's a little bit dark in here, is I have changed these cases around. So I've got four of these bags. Before I had them stacked up here because there are the Velcro strips at the bottom. But I find personally putting these down um, on the side much, much easier. I sort of have little tags here so I know what's in what and what to grab. Um, and then most of the stuff that is in the side flap is something I wouldn't use all the time. I'll just take it down to show you. Like I've got some spare sponges and pens, um, other eyeliners, sharpeners, um, other little skincare things, uh, illuminizer, my color wheel. I've got some band-aids, uh, what do you call that? Glue and all that. So that's worked really well for me and I find it's much, much more secure anyway, even if I take it all the way down. They're pretty much wedged, uh, sort of wedged in there. And then two of the ones that stick on the back with the Velcro will help hold the other two in. So for me, this is the way that it's working um, a lot easier. When I've got sort of all my skin prep and moisturizer, lotions, blowing stuff, everything in this one little space, it's been really easy to work from because I know everything's in there and I can just slide it back and it fits perfectly. It's out of the road. I don't have to think about it or I can put it where I about it because I need to really work as concisely um, and, and mess free as possible because it's so easy to get brushes and, and lip pencils and everything all over the place. It's just for, that's how I find it easy to work from. So just pretty much to summarize, I've got, like I said, um, like lip balm, I've got the little uh, moisturizers and cleansers that I've put in these little um, containers. I've got different types of face primer. So I've got one with SPF and then one without SPF. And then I've got eye primers. I've got my hand sanitizer, so I know it's in there. Face building tissues. Um, makeup cleaner, you know, Beauty So Clean. I've got makeup removers, toners, my Max Fix Plus is all in there. Uh, I've even got my essential mouth spray um, and other stuff, you know, um, powders and stuff that I, that I didn't know and would typically use most of the time so that's sort of all in there but this is really just all of my liquid foundation my cream foundation slash concealers my cream blushes uh, lip products um, any sort of like liquid creams gels and all that I sort of keep in the fridge um, since it's quite warm at the moment um, and these aren't the actual this isn't the case that comes with the actual trolley like the four uh, clear cases come with the trolley this is just one of those little stand-up ones like i don't even know where i got it, it was a, a part of a set and it was free but i found this is absolutely perfect because it'll stand up nicely in the fridge and keep everything upright also when i stack it in my bag i don't have it like that if i can i have it sort of slid in between uh three of the bags so it sort of um, stands up like that because i don't always have the four cases that come with the bag i might have three of them and then have this one and it's got all my sort of liquid products in it and that stands up nicely and then pretty much what I do is whatever I'm working on um, at wherever I am I'll just take it out bang I can stand it up and I leave everything in there the only time anything comes out of there is when I'm putting the stuff on the actual palette 
The reason I do that is it's just so much easier. I've, I've done things where I've had, you know, a foundation here, 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 and I've knocked it over in the style. But like I said, I wouldn't take all of this foundation at once. But just to show you quickly what I've got in here, like this one, a little travel bag, I've got my MAC Face and Body uh, Foundation, my MAC Skin, what are you? Uh, Studio Fix Fluid, I've got some Makeup Forever little bottles. I've got my, you know, the white face and body and I've got a few other little uh, sample ones in there that I sort of mix in uh, where I need. Um, and then other little, you know, things in there, mixing mediums. I've got my Graftobian and similar Secrets Correctors and Concealers. So uh, with my foundations, I have these little, you know, those Velcro things that you put the hair back with. Uh, and then I've got this other one. Again, I wouldn't take all of this when I'm out, but I've got my little palettes in here, my lip palettes. I've got the Napoleon one. I've got a, actually this is the black lipstick, uh, the Stiletto from Lime Crime um, that I got recently. I'm going to um, take it out of there and put it in a palette. I've also got my homemade. <laughs> MAC lip palette. I know it looks a little bit messy and it's also a bit frosty. It's been in the fridge, but um, I've got a mixture of different um, lip sips. I've got MAC, Revlon, Lime Crime, Maybelline and Lipstick Queen, but these are more my brights and my really thick, you know, matte sort of lip sips um, that are in there. Uh, and then I've got my Graftobian lip palette. I've shown this in a haul recently. Uh, this is like yeah great great shades in there that you can sort of mix and then I've got uh, this is that new one I got the cargo lip coil that I got from my lip factory box recently I actually used it in the photo shoot um, as you can see beautiful beautiful glosses uh, and then I've just got some you know clear uh, goopy gloss well not really goopy but you get the idea so that's pretty much what I would keep in the fridge and then just take out what I but it's it's getting cooler now so I'm not going to store it in the fridge for too much longer if I don't need to I'm going to show you what is in the other bag and hopefully I'm sorry sorry if the light is getting really great it looks like it's going to rain again but um this is my sort of powder little uh, bag here I'm not going to go over every shade that I've got in here but what I've done just to keep them sort of safe from breaking in that because I'm not putting them in palettes. So I've just got these little black um, trays. I wouldn't, I could work from them or just take out what I need. So um, this one I've got my sort of uh, mineralized skin finishes, uh, you know, different shades and stuff in there. I've got, uh, you know, banana powder. I've got uh, mattifier. It's a gel mattifier. Um, other bronzers. Uh, and these are pretty much all of my, and this one, my Studio Fix powders. So all those sort of different ones. And I've got little codes on there so I know what they mean uh, to me. Those into another one and then have blushes or eyeshadows on the side. So I wouldn't take the whole thing if I don't need to. But in uh, this one, I've got some uh, blushes and creams. So I've got that Benoit colour wheel I've shown before. I've got my Inglot. Uh, blushes I've got my Mac blushes so I've opened up so I've got my Mac and I've also got some from the actual college as well as you can see the the smaller ones these are pretty much my contouring my my blush uh, some bronzing just sort of depends what I do and I, I obviously I can mix the powders so that's in there uh, I also have the two makeup forever palettes um, in here a lot of the times I wouldn't take these or I have been taking if I think I'll need it this one which is the neutrals and I have actually liked this a little bit better than the bright one because I've been able to get a lot of different sort of blushes uh, contouring all different things as well if I, if I can't take everything uh, like a lot of my other sort of little palettes or creams I can just throw this this in but like I said that these are grease they're not um, and I have used this a few times uh, then I've got this little, actually this little bag, this actually goes on the clear bag which I'll pop a photo up that I got from um, Makeup Forever as well. But what I've, what I've done here is I've got sort of odds and ends, like you know, those little singles that I haven't depotted yet. Um, so like a little MAC, a MAC colour cream, I've got some NARS 
uh, blushes in here, even essence. And what I've got in here is really stuff that I wouldn't reach for all the time. Like I don't have to take them all, take them if I don't think I'll need them. But they're more sort of odds and ends and colours that I might not have in the palette. So, you know, I could use this on the cheeks or the the eyes. But this is the blush from uh, the makeup store called Passionate Pink. But that is, that is one bright pink, intense pink. Or like even the Balm Instain if I want something like to... Not fudge, but with minimal effort, something like that. So that's pretty much what I've got um, in there. So that's that one. And then this one's sort of my eyeshadows. Again, I'm going to try and avoid taking all these these palettes. Uh, but what I've got on the top is actually one that I used on um, during the photo shoot. This is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette, uh, which I haven't made in a... Uh, I haven't done a haul on this one. But it's really pretty. It's got a lot of um, matte. I just call some of them more of a satiny finish. But like you can see beautiful uh, shades there. And then if you want to sort of give it a, like a pearl sheen to the shadow, you can put this one over the top. But beautiful. And it worked really well because the model that I had, she'd lightened to here, like I said, quite a bit. And these, I just, it went, it went really nicely with the look. Um, I've got a couple of sleek palettes in here as well. Uh, this is the Chaos uh, palette. This beautiful, nice, bright, matte, well-pigmented eyeshadows. And this one is the um, Oh So Special. I took it because I thought I might need it in the, um, the shoot. I didn't end up using it because I won't use the other one. Um, then I've got um, one of those Giro palettes from MAC where I've got sort of more of my muted color. I call them my muted colors. Uh, then I've got my eyebrow slash, you know, browns, browns and cool browns, whatever you want to call them, uh, in here. And most of these are MAC eyeshadows, but I do have a few that are from the actual college that I've uh, worked in here. Then I've got this one's more of my bright uh, colors, as you can sort of see there. Or more of my intense shades, should I put it. And then same thing, I've got one of these um, in here as well. And this has just got other things that I... You now, odds and ends. I've got my Shadow Trio. I've got my Sugar Pill palette. Well, I've really just got it for the red. I really want to pop that if I could. Beautiful. Uh, a MAC Duo, which is actually I used this during the photo shoot as well. Uh, one of my favorite um, eyeshadows, and this is Servant by Elamasca. Beautiful. Bit of a peachy, light beige color. I don't, just beautiful. I used this with um, the purples on the eye. It was really, really pretty. Then I've got a, um, a hair chalk for some reason I've got in there. But, um, and then in this one, I've just got a bit of everything so this is pretty much all of my pencils and mascaras and so I'll take out each little like I said I wouldn't necessarily travel like this I might just take a little plastic container to put all the pencils in but I find it's easier to separate them because I've got stuff everywhere so I've just got those little things that I got from her fashion box it's the tweezers and scissors and all that that I obviously sterilize each time I've, I've used it I've got Pencil sharpeners, really need those. I've got all my MAC eyebrow pencils in there and my Anastasia eyebrow gel. I've got a, and then I've got a bunch of eye pencils. So I've got Duwop, I've got MAC, um, Da Vinci. This is one of my favorite um, black uh, coal sort of pencils. I've got Makeup Forever. I've got. OCC and then just more in the like NYX and for some reason I've got my Marinus um, glosses in there and we've got a bunch of different pencils most of these are NYX and Cinema Secrets that I have for the um, lip pencils or eye I've got Essence uh, as well and a few other odd ones and then of course all of my mascara so I've got brown I've got waterproof just plain black and then I've got a bunch of different liners so I've got you know Inglot 
MAC, I've got Dip Down and Black Track. One's the Bobby Brown Black Ink. And I've got a bunch of the color tattoos by Maybelline and Steela Smudge Pops. So I've got everything in there. And of course, mascara wands. I love these because, I mean, obviously, you know, for hygiene, but they're great as well for, like I said, fixing the eyebrows, getting out of those, those little stray fluffy bits of hair. They're just so versatile. I'm going to have the bag stacked up uh, horizontally. I actually have this little mirror. I'll try not to blind you. So it's just one of those ones you can get at a $2 shop. So just a nice little mirror there. But I've got, uh, and I learnt the hard way to actually use one of these. These are the um, little magnifying mirrors that you can get. Because uh, I've done a few people that, um, you know, need sort of glasses and they cannot see your eye or something. This has been very helpful for them. So that's that. Uh, I also have another another large mirror that I have um, if, I, if I need. But that's pretty much what's inside, apart from the brush belt which uh, like 90% of my brushes are drying at the moment, but I've gone back to the, and I just find this is the easiest one. Eventually I'll get one that actually zips all the way around. These are one of those you know, brush belt ones. This is the one, uh, a lime lily one that we got as part of the class, but pretty much it'll be full obviously, but I'll put a photo up here when all the brushes are nice and clean, but I've got, you know, my, my all my little tools. So I've got my, what are you, a mascara curler? I've got my spatula, um, my tweezers, so for false lashes. I have, actually I'll show this because someone was asking about, this is a little tool that I use to depot stuff as well. I keep it in there so I know it's always in there. And this does come in handy, this little tip tool, not on the face, mind you. Uh, I've got my two palettes. I've got my matte palette and my, I don't know, plain palette. <laughs> They're both plain. Uh, my MAC sponges I just keep in there so I know where they are, little wedges, and then sort of my brushes, but predominantly my brushes are Royal Lanical, Real Techniques, uh, I also have Wayne Goss, Eco Tools, Haku Hodu, uh, and don't think I just go for like, oh, you know, the bigger ones, and then I also have um, ELF as well, some of my favourite brushes are ELF, well, I pay like three bucks for them, but on the other hand I also have some Ray Morris brushes, which I think are Ray Morris Hakuhodu and Wayne Goss would be my more expensive and then I think my sort of everyday really well priced brushes would be the Royal Lanical ones that I sort of reach for and, and then real techniques and that so that's sort of what I have um, in there uh, and now I'm going to show you what is in the outer pockets. So I'm just going to go over the other bits and pieces that I have so what I would typically have depending where I've got the space to put it I'll have some towels I like just having nice black hand towels so I can either clean stuff while I'm, I'm on a job or if I'm just, you know, putting the makeup on top of it. So obviously I don't want to damage anyone's tabletops or wherever they've sort of put me. So I've got the towels. I like these just plain black ones I got at Kmart. Nice, cheap. And they're actually really nice quality, I think. They wash up really well too. Or I, if I need something a little bit bigger, rather than having the towels, I actually use the, um, the foot towels because they're actually quite thick and they're really, really nice just to sort of, you know, put it all down. That's just me anyway. And then um, the sides, so I'll start off with this top pocket, if I can get into it. There we go. Um, this is just other stuff. So I've got, you know, baby wipes. They're nice, sensitive, fragrance-free for, you know, getting makeup off. I have breath mints. That's essential. I've got uh, plastic bags. I like freezer bags. Some people use nappy bags. I just think these look neater. And Bioderma, I think. Yes, I have the Bioderma... Crelane, however you pronounce it, HTRO, so obviously for very sensitive skin or dry skin, I've got this. And to uh, remove makeup. And then I just have a spare hand sanitizer. I can never have enough hand sanitizer or sanitizers or whatnot. In here I have, what do I have? Pigments, yes. Just a couple of pigments I need. So I've got nice bright one from Lime Crime. I've got two new ones that I got from Concrete uh, Minerals from Lips of Republic and these are actually matte ones so this is a beautiful bluey colour. It's called Bruise as you can imagine and red. I've got this lovely glittery one from Onovi and I've got this matte mixing medium from MAC and this beautiful, I actually use this as well, this is the pigment I use for my photo shoot. It's this beautiful 
duochrome purple pink pigment beautiful uh, and then in here I think I have another yarn here. a little bag of just hair clips and hair accessories and bits and pieces so anything I use I obviously clean that or sterilize it uh, and on this large side I can get in it I wouldn't go in this all the time so it's pretty much just random stuff for hair and nails so I have all my little sectioning clips in here which is a good, good little strap I can just pop them on there I have other stuff I wouldn't use all the time there's just headbands I've got some tanning stuff in here, instant tanner. Actually, I love this. This is the Demert Nail Enamel Dry. If you do need to do the nails, and obviously you don't want them to smudge or they have to dry in a hurry, this is a great little spray. It's just, To me, it's just like the OPI Rapid Dry Spray, but you're looking at four to five times um, cheaper. And this is a good little bottle to travel around in. Um, you can get the, the it's got mink oil, you can get a spray one. I suggest not to get that because um, that actually does leak and it's very grease, look, greasy feeling, very oily. This is very dry. So I prefer if you are going to travel around with, with one, use this one if you can, if possible. It's an aerosol though. So uh, what else do I have? Oh, I've got um, magnetic tape because I was doing the pellets. You know, some of them don't have the magnets and sometimes it's hard to get the little round ones because they're out of stock or you have to get them from overseas. I just have these. It's just easy. You can cut off the size that you want. I mean, who cares? You can't see the back. Uh, and then got, what have I got? Some hairspray. If I can't get like the travel sizes, um, like I buy the big bottles, it's cheaper. I just obviously put it in a little bottle that I might have already. So this is a MAC bottle, but I've put in uh, the Agada he heat spray in it. And I've got other, like I said, he hair styling products and, and stuff like that. So if I've got the room, I might just put my hair um, actual tools in here or in a separate bag or take a different, different bag as well. But that pretty much um, sums up what I've got in there. And like I said, I wouldn't take all of it at once if I can avoid it. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.